What's up, gang? It's Delta from DeltaIsGaming.com here with a different kind of video on fishing. Today, I brought along a special guest who has the awesome written guide on the website. We call him Pinky. Pink, what's going on? How you doing, Del? Good. So you wrote the written guide on fishing on my site, and we're gonna go out and kind of explore it for the YouTube folks. So, first, first things first. Why do you fish in ESO? Well, there's basically two reasons. Uh, the, the first reason is the achievements, and uh, you, you you can take this achievement, get get them in your uh, uh, achievements list, and then eventually, if you get them all, you get the Master Angler title, which is the rarest title there is, perhaps even rarer than Emperor, since there's so much Emperor trading around. No, you can't trade a Master Angler around. Master Angler, and that is the awesome pink color that pink, yes. pink latex probably wants, okay? Yeah, I, I, I definitely want that as well. So you have not even got that yet. Are you pretty close? Um, I have finished the Daggerfall Covenant area. And I'm pretty close to the Ad, uh, Aldmeri Dominion being completed. So it takes some time to get that done. It does indeed. It takes some dedication. Uh, I pretty much just do most of my fishing when I when I run the events on Friday nights for our guild. And tell us about your we guild. We actually have uh, the the guild the guild I'm in is the Ascension of the Lions. Uh, we're kind of a, a guild based on helping each other and having fun, and. Um, we run a bunch of events during the week, and one of the events that, that, that I run is this fishing event on Friday night where we go out and break into groups uh, of about four to six. That's about the ideal size you want to fish at. And go to fish and try to get our achievements. And um, just to mention the size of the groups, that is kind of important and two, two reasons. The first is that um, the chance of catching rare fish, uh, which is our primary goal, is increased when you have more people uh, up to four. It's uh, it's believed that the chances are five percent, ten percent, fifteen, and twenty-five percent for one, two, three, and four players fishing the same hole. Okay. Uh, but beyond that, you don't want it to be too many because there's only about fifteen casts per hole. So if you want a reasonable chance to you know cast get a couple casts in on each hole, you, right. you don't right. kind of want to limit it to like three to five. Okay. And I went out for that event and I was quite fun and before we knew that the second reason for fishing is the xp potions right oh that's a big one now oh, definitely the ability to um to craft the experience potions uh requires an ingredient that you can only get by fishing which is the um uh perfect row which i believe you have i do have a perfect row on me i didn't fish it to catch it because you gave me one spoiler uh, where'd I put it? Uh, crafty materials. Here it is. So it's a provisioning material. It's legendary, and you need to fish to get it. So uh, we'll just do a little preview here on fishing, but the main incentive is to get this stuff. So if you see my other XP videos, you get the Cidic Ambrosia recipe. You need seven of them. Seven of them, and you get them from the provisioning writs, and then you get the materials from the provisioning writs and also from fishing. So you gave me some fish, didn't you? A whole bunch of fish. Okay. Yeah, so you can decon. Maybe, maybe dig one. So the whole goal here is when you get fish, you get to decon them, deconstruct, or just double click it. And that's what gives you the chance of getting the crazy perfect row stuff. Let me see. How can I just sort by fish? Eh, I can't. All right, here we go. First fillet. Nothing. Nothing. Now, an add-on that really helps with this is Votan's fish fillet. Or Votan's fillet. You click on the click on the fish once, and it uh, uh, fillets the entire stack. Yeah, but it's kind of fun to click on it once, right? This is true, especially if you want to see it ding. Oh, uh, fish fillet. See, we're getting this fish fillet over and over. <laughs> the excitement is killing me. All right, we're at ten fish. So what is the percentage? I mean, I obviously probably haven't run math on this, but like, what do you see? Is it like one twenty-five basically, or is it one hundred? I've gotten two, so yeah, it's it's pretty. It's it's like in a couple of hundred, I think. Uh, oh, you got two period. Good... Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, one of our guildmates said that he did it, and he 
had it has this thing that does a counter on it, and uh, it hit twice within exactly three hundred. That's that rare. Yeah. Wow. It's about on the ra it's about on the rarity of Nurnkrux. Okay. Well. Now, in addition to the perfect row, you need the Berves juice and the Frost Miriam, which are the purple ingredients that you get from your hirelings or from uh, the provisioning uh, writs. Okay, well, 34 deep, we haven't gotten it yet. So let's go and do something yeah. else and see if we can't speed this up in another part of the video. So, Alrighty. so you're going to need a lot of fish, obviously, right? Exactly. Now, we're actually in a good sized group because we're not going to have too high of a chance of getting a rare fish because at this point we're kind of wanting to get a lot of white fish because we want to get perfect row. Right, because the rare fish you can't fillet to get the... Um, this is true. So you kind of, if you're going for perfect row, you don't want to have a four person group. If you're going for um, the achievement, you do. Let me clear out the wolves and show my incredible skills. And of course, it's just, it's just fun either way. I mean, really the, it, you know, it may seem really boring, but you get a bunch of your friends together, and you're out here, you're just running around, you're killing junk, you're picking up mats, and you're fishing every once in a while on your BS and having a good time. The, to me, that's that's a win-win all the way around. Okay. So now we got right, our fishing hole, is... right? Let me clear these guys out. Okay. Yeah, this is a world boss here. Oh my god, Astrid's going to kill us. There we go. Shut up. Um, this area south of Eagles Brook Way Shrine in Glen Umber is a good place to start for foul water fishing. Uh, this is a this is a good uh, trainer because as you see that we have all these dead bodies around, these undead uh, zombies and stuff running around this entire lake. That kind of is what makes this a foul water area. That that is your indicator for the presence of foul water. It can be in uh, uh, in the ocean areas, it could be in rivers or lakes, whatever, but the presence of dead bodies and zombies and that kind of stuff means foul. And foul, foul water, water determines which bait you use. Correct. The type of water is the type of bait. For foul water, we use, um, um, uh, let me see. <laughs> Crawlers? Crawlers. See, I'm a fishing pro. The orange one. There you are, the pro. You also use fish row which is the rare which is the bait that you can catch there's bait that you can pick up and bait you can catch okay do you have Double any crawlers for me yes i do because i'm unprepared i'm a pvp or a pv you're now i want to give you something special in return oh yeah <laughs> my favorite give me them crawlers baby all right so we hit the E key, select our little bite. Ready? Okay. Yep. Let's cast. And it's off to the races. Look at the bobber. Now, if you're doing vanilla, which is also mm. on console, there's a couple of things you're going to want to look for. You watch your bobber, and when it goes underwater, uh, that's time to pull back. Also, your fishing pole is going to pull up a little bit, and then you're also going to hear a reeling sound. And that's your indicators to hit the E key to pull it in. Or a console right. putter like X or something. Yeah. Yeah. However, if you're on PC, recommend that you download and install Votan's Fisherman, which puts a nice big fish symbol on your screen, which you might be seeing when Dell's uh, on the video. And that makes it a whole lot easier. I call it the hit E key stupid indicator and so basically you get 15 casts you said per hole is that right that's about correct yes i caught a chub all right now chub is that is one of the baits that you catch chub is used in ocean areas there is functionally no difference that i have found between the bait you catch and the bait you find chub this is a perfect time for an immature joke right <laughs> yeah, i'm joking well, there is that achievement. 
<laughs> and so how long does it take for these holes once they're fished out to respawn? Uh, it depends on the hole. Um, I've had, I've seen holes like respawn within about an hour. Some respawn within minutes. Really? Yeah. There's, uh, the two, uh, the two ocean holes that are really the only two ocean holes in all of Cyrodiil will respawn in about two minutes. So Cyrodiil fishing, huh? Yeah. Cyrodiil fishing is a lot of fun. So that size, a little PVP element to it. It has a little PvP element to it. Uh, it's it's more, you know, it's nicer when it's it's safer, obviously, or when you have a huge group. It's it's it was funny one time we went out fishing in Cyrodiil with about twenty people, and we really only about four of us needed the achievements, but the rest just came along. And uh, so we were down down near the M and M gate, which is where the ocean areas are, and four of us were fishing in the open, and everyone else was hidden. Typical Cyrodiil, right? Uh, an EP guy came along and ganked those of us who were fishing and like killed like one of us, two of us, I think. But the rest of them jumped up and just destroyed him within a second. <laughs> it was hilarious. I mean, if he'd come up and just wanted to fish, we'd have fished. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh, if it's red, it's dead, man. You can't let those red go. Yellow, I'm, a, I'm all right with yellow. Red, not so much. All right, well, I got a lamprey on that one. That's one of the rare fish for this. Okay, so link or rare fish. Let's show them the difference. Oh, I have to open my chat. Now you guys can see all the crazy chat messes I have. Okay, so you'll see that the rare fish obviously come in different shades. Green, blue, and is there purple? No, there is not. Okay, so it's just green and blue. Oh my god, Astrid's back alive! Barrier! Oh my god, I'm killing level 11. This is so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another thing that Votans does is it has those fishing markers, the spots, right? So, like it. That's correct. So I've been fishing here before trying to get the achievements with you guys. And so you should, you will see that it is foul water. It will show you on the indicator, um, and then we'll show you a history of what you've caught here. So I've caught a lamprey off this hole. Yep. Yeah. Dragonfish here for me. Uh, it also improves your map display as well. We could show that later. So, tell us a fishing story. Wait, I don't have a can of mead, or I mean, you kind of. <laughs> Let's let's do an entertaining fishing story. Your most entertaining inter fishing story. I thought that last one was entertaining. About that was the, pretty uh, good. That was pretty about the EP guy. But we're at a new hole, though. You got to keep going. Okay. Well, um, the an another aspect I love about serial fishing is the epic waterfall jumps. <laughs> there's this run that you go from uh, from Blue Road Keep. Uh, there's, south, there's a little lake about southeast of Blue Road Keep. You can start there, and that's going to be lake. And there's actually, then there's a foul water hole right at the base of where the lake and the river starts. That'd be okay. Because there's a dead guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And then you follow that that lake all the way down to this series of, where the, that river all the way down to these series of lakes that go uh, north-south. And there's some epic waterfall jumps there. It's beautiful. <laughs> we need to get the lions in PvP more. Yeah, definitely. It might be once once they make the changes to the non jumping around uh non Zergs in PvP it might make for uh a little more stable fishing again. I just got me a dragonfish. Oh I've already got it part of my collection. So you can actually sell these, right? For like thirty six gold? <laughs> Yes, you can. The greens are worth 36 gold, and the blues are worth 110 gold. Ooh, treasure chest. Now, what's the, um, I was going to say, um, you can sell the fillets, but you obviously want to keep on deconning those to get the chance of the perfect row. Right. And so be, the fish itself is going to be worthless, essentially. Now, have you ever you sold a stack of these, like for people that are trying to decon them? 
No, I have not. Hmm. All right, let's see if we got anything. They might be expensive. Who knows? They're going for I have high gold apiece. Nine apiece? Wow. Now, the normal price to vendor them was three gold apiece. You're picking up all my mats. God, no, have you ever watched one of my own videos? You Sorry. Know I, you know I get the heavy sacks. Go for it. No, nope. for it. Nope. Water Hyacin. I'm an alchemist at heart. I do everything. <laughs> no patience. Got to do it all myself. All right. I've got a chub out of this hole right here. Oh, we got a hole there? Yep. Good deal. Good eye. So what do you think about the changes of Perfect Rose? Since you guys were doing fishing before, has this changed the fun factor for you guys, or does it just not even matter? It, has, it hasn't really mattered for our fishing event, uh, except that we saw a spike in uh, people joining on the first week after it happened. Right. But uh, we, we still actually still get our uh, one to two groups uh, you know, per, per group per week, maybe sometimes three. And we we still go out and get our get our achievements. We've we've got several people that have already gotten their achievements, so they don't do it much anymore. Although sometimes they'll come along and help out. It's uh it's it with uh once you've done the fishing in a, in a zone and, and with a group like that, you you and if you've gotten a lot of your for instance, I've gotten my uh, a lot of my fish in some of the, a lot of the areas where I lead groups. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll get a group started onto a hole, then go uh, search ahead for the next hole, and that makes it really uh, go along pretty quickly. When you're saying the area, basically I'm looking at the journal right now and showing people, but if you go into Dominion Pact, um, so let's say you start out in D.C., you still can access Dominion uh, through completing Cabal's Gold and Silver. So you're still going to be able to go to all these places. So if we go here, Oradon let's say Ordon uh, AD, that shows you a list of what you need to catch. So what, we're in Bankeray right, right now? Or we're in uh, Rivenstein? Uh, Glenumbra. 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 So I've got one out of 12. <laughs> so we got a ways to go. I need to catch a catfish. So yeah, if you're looking to do the achievement hunting, whether you're on consoles or PC, there is a way to track your progress. So you don't keep on fishing the same area for you know days and days and days. And on PC, there's another add-on that's really essential for tracking your progress for rare fish tracking, which is called the Rare Fish Tracker. Uh, and it's a little pop-up add-on that shows you which fish you've caught. And it, the most important part about this is it shows you what water type that each fish is in. The journal uh, only shows you the name of the fish. It doesn't show you where it is. So let's speak for console players trying to do this. What things could they use their advantage isn't there a website that has like a super helpful guide or something i believe there is if not <laughs> we should we should create one in fact that we will i will create one that um that basically breaks down the name of the fish and stuff and i'll, I'll get that updated for our for our fishing guide on your site yeah so pink Roth that's, is, that's a really good idea pink Roth is really detailed fishing guide and it has some really good spots on how to fish um so if you are on the consoles don't have access to handy dandy clever add-ons don't feel left out come check out the site he put a lot of work into it. it's a really good article yeah and we'll update it within the week to include um what a, a table showing what all the fish are and what water types they are in each zone because it can get tricky because um they they really they really play it up on you they change it to where there's some zones that don't have a particular water type at all so for instance, if you go to Rivenspire or for Alakir Desert, there's no there's no rivers. Huh. So speaking of that, like, how do you know if you're fishing in the wrong hole? Like you're fishing the wrong when, bait. That's that's a good that's a good point. Uh, if you have the wrong bait for the fishing uh, water type that you're fishing, uh, you will get what is shown as used bait. Ah. Used bait is worthless. It just takes up bank space. Or uh, yeah bank space or bank space and um, you can get used bait even when you're fishing with the right bait but it's like a one in a thousand chance I mean it's like really rare but there's also 
I mean, the, the holes can be really tricky. Sometimes there's two holes like side by side within a meter of each other, and uh, you hit one, and it's one thing, and you hit the other, and it's a different water type. Really? Yeah, it's really weird. So tell the story about the fish that got away, because every fisherman has that, right? Oh, totally. And that's a good point. Uh, if you are going to be fishing, this is a, if you don't want to have fish that get away, uh, you need to put auto loot on, on your uh, settings. Because uh, what happens is if you're looking at the loot screen and you're, you're saying, oh, you're admiring that new blue fish that you just got caught, and the hole is fished out because someone else is fishing it, you're going to lose that fish. So yeah. you want auto loot. So as soon as you hit E, it's in your bag and it uh, gets your achievement. Okay, and we also got something kind of cool, which is that wet gunny sack. Oh yeah, totally. So that gives what? you a chance to give you actually even kudas are coming in here. I think I've got one once before. Yep. And I just got to uh, it. It's the functional equivalent of a heavy sack. You know I love heavy sacks. Oh yeah. We've had we've had people get actually two kudas in a single wet gunny sack, so there's an in incentive for fishing. Yeah, and rapid maneuvers is a good fishing uh, fishing add-on. <laughs> oh yeah, retrieve maneuvers, rapid maneuvers, it's amazing. I'm just clearing out the whole the area for you. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Because that's another thing that's annoying is getting mobs beating on you while you're trying to fish. Yeah, no one wants that. There are some really fun areas. Um, Reaper's March, for example, there's some fishing holes that you have to um, have to destroy a world boss to get to. <laughs> hmm. uh, there's a fishing holes that are like right by a dolmen that's in the river. So how close are you to your master achievement then, since you've done the most of them? Um, I'm I've completed the Daggerfall Covenant area. I've completed um, uh, Cyrodiil and also um, Craglorn. I am still fishing in Admiral, Admiral Dominion. Almost done with that, though. And EP, there's a few zones that I haven't even hardly touched. Yeah, well, it's EP, so it's fine. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a gold area for me, so I haven't gotten there. And, and when we do our fishing event, we have a lot of low levels that want to join, you know, new, new members of the guild and stuff, new players. And so a lot of times I do end up, you know, repeating these low level zones and don't go to gold so much. So what other things can you tell us about fishing before we close? Like what, anything else that's really important, whether you're getting the achievement, doing perfect row or just having fun? Um, yeah, I'm thinking. Thanks. I'm thinking. <laughs> um, it's it's a really good it's a really good event to do with your friends. Uh, just to go along, I I, I do it as I'm uh, as I'm adventuring. I'll if I see a hole that I haven't got marked, uh, that's another thing. The the uh, the Votan's fisherman will mark a hole for you, so that once you've once you've fished it, you know what water type it is, and so on the map it'll show what water type it is. And uh, so if I see a hole that I haven't marked, I go ahead and fish it, and who knows, you know, sometimes I get, you know, get these blues or greens. You can, um, you can actually trade the rare fish to your other characters, uh, and, and they can get to help them get the achievement. So uh, I don't mind fishing a hole with my alternate characters, because if they get it, Tiny, which is my main guy, he's going to get it. Hmm, that's a good tip. Zoss, don't nerf that. Please don't nerf that Zoss. Fishing is hard enough. And it's, le and it's unrewarding enough for most people. So, yeah, please don't. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate you showing us how to do this and writing the website. There is incentive to do fishing. It's, you know, it's fun. You're just sitting around talking. This reminds me of grinding, <laughs> grinding up leveling characters. It's kind of monotonous, but if you have friends and you're just dinking around, it can be a lot of fun. And you, you can mix it with adventuring, too. I mean, it's a, you, you don't have to focus on it entirely as a set thing. Uh, just, you know, pop a hole every once in a while and 
Let's see what you get. And kill stuff. You have to keep. You have to keep on killing stuff. And you gotta loot stuff too. Yeah. Ooh, mushrooms, blue and mana. Okay. Well, I mean, that's. What I, I usually end up with like two thousand gold worth of uh, fish and uh, stuff after an event. What I want to do now is go back and fillet all those fish, time lapse it, of course, and see if we get a perfect row. Let's yeah, let's do that. Well, after all that speculation on how long it takes to get a perfect row, I get one, I think, within a couple of fillets here. You can tell by the golden ember kind of surrounding you. Uh, where is it at? Bang, that. That's how you know you got a perfect row. So I'm going to trade stuff back to Pinky. But I want to say thanks to Pink and his guild, Ascension Alliance, a really helpful guild, the DC faction, North American server. He's at Pink Freud in game if you want to talk to him. Also, feel free to check out my website, deltiasgaming.com, and search for fishing. There's a really detailed guide on it, and hopefully you guys learned something. This is kind of a different video, but it's a lot of fun and something different aspect you can do in the game. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and more videos to come.